Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 673 of Fallout 4. Last episode, Adam's Cat Garage. How long has it been since we've had this thing marked on our map from talking to that dude over here by County Crossing? Still can't remember his name. Still can't remember if it's the Zeke. I don't think it is. I, I could totally be wrong. But it was some dude we met forever ago. But we're here, and uh, time to talk to some people. Yep, that's, that's the plan. So, uh, Rowdy over there was... Do, doing poetry night and she kind of copped out and she gave up Ooh, that's like a laser grid over there she gave up that was pretty funny i did play a hollow tape last time that's kind of a funny dialogue cop codsworth we'll turn you into a suit of power armor we'll take that brain of yours and smash it because all that the, all that attachment does is make you shoot at me but we'll convert you into some power armor it'll be awesome i'm gonna save so i don't get in trouble it didn't say it was a crime. It says this is a crime, obviously. Uh, activate? That's activate versus disarm. Uh, okay, I was half expecting that to go up in a, <laughs> a blaze of glory, but hey, what ifs? What is that? Not sure if dedication or Stupidity. <laughs> That's a provisioner. What the actual? They're, they're like turning around. The current's winning. The tide's beating them. Uh, yeah, you have fun over there. So this is how your goods get from one settlement to another, people. The provisioner goes for a swim and does circles. And then eventually your goods get to where they need to go. All right. I learned something today. Make sure the weapon's put away. I don't want to accidentally any of these people here and piss them off. Can I take this? They, they, they didn't say it was a crime, so I'm not doing the time. What do we got over here? Other than our annoying radio. Zeke's terminal, novice. Well, this is not theft. That is bad. I can't take his plasma cartridges, but I can take his toy cars. Sorry, buddy. Hot Rodder. Bingo. Permanently unlock a new custom paint job for your power. <laughs> look, 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 look at that. That's great. <laughs> Shark paint schemes. How to build single seat powerhouses. All right. And then this is the first one. Cat's Poetry Night Tape 1. This is the tape I was talking about. All right, cats. I call this one Metal Heart. <clears throat> metal legs. Metal arms. Metal... Art. Tool of war, tool of peace, tool of art. I get into my suit and I strut through the wastes. No fear, untouchable. The flames on my suit burning, rising, glowing. The flames are hot, but I am cool. I walk, I run, I ride. My hands are strong. I am a man. No, more than a man. Because, man, I have a metal heart. Thank you. <laughs> well, that just happened. We're, uh, we're, we're gonna just look at this terminal. Adam Katz rule. Alright, jobs. I need jobs. Means it ain't cool. Felt. Could be felt. Nope. Feel. Feel? Got, Got him. User. Top cat. Not Zeke. Set your peepers elsewhere. Unless you're looking for a knuckle sandwich, then go ahead. The legend of Zeke. Oh my god, this is this is the kind of person that capitalizes like every other letter. These people should have their fingers removed. And keyboards just out of sight. The legend of Zeke. No looking. Rough idea notes. I was born in a tiny leather jacket. I grew up in Diamond City. Left when I realized the diamond was really just a tiled squ the tilted square. Oh my god. Good line keeping it. Oh, okay. Tell that story about how I fixed up an old verde bird but crashed it in the ocean. That explains why I don't have it anymore, right? Need a few chapters on power armor. Why, uh, why it's the cat's meow. Ooh, and some tips on how to make it really sing. Don't reveal too much. They gotta need you for something. And then it apparently just has nothing else on that page. Okay, The Legend of Zeke. More ideas. Ran out of space or something. More ideas. 
Story about finding the garage, how I single-handedly slayed a huge pack of ferals to claim it, how I met and assembled the Atom Cats, how I rescued them from their bad news lives and showed them the way of cool. <laughs> also, how much I love this kooky crew. Don't get too sappy, though. Ch chapter in memoriam of Aiming Andy. Oh, Aiming Andy. Okay, sounds like somebody died. The cat we lost too soon. Andy found all the rockin' tunes that we play in this garage to this day. Use this line. He will live on in our hearts and in our jukebox. <laughs> okay. And that was the safe control, which, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, 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 I guess I don't really need to do it. But I suppose I can just open it real quick to see what happens. We can at least investigate it. What, what, what could that hurt? Burnt Grognak comic. He has a teddy bear in there. This, so this guy's a big softy. Sunglasses. Greaser jacket. Greaser jacket. Okay, that's a new item. I'm assuming that's like their specific... Like, they, they, they all have their own jackets. I'm assuming that's what that is. Uh, nothing on the outside here. And looks like we're getting ready to talk to some people in just a second. You know me. Looping around, making sure I explore first. Thought I saw a Mirelurk out there. That was another life preserver. Nice outhouse. Can I poop in it? I mean, you guys kind of live right next to the ocean anyway. You just, just, uh, just duke and chuck it. <laughs> Seems legit. To get rid of these rad barrels, though, that doesn't seem too good. It doesn't bode well for you. But what do we have in the boat? Life preserver. You guys just leave a dead person down here? You know, you, know, you guys, like, live here, but you never bothered to clean up? Something, I think it said Quincy Survivor Notes. Let me check that. I don't remember seeing those before. Quincy Surviving Notes. Oh, let's go past it. Q R S T U V W X Y and Z, and now I know my ABCs. Quinlan. Uh, no, it was definitely Quincy survivor note. Ma passed this morning. There's nothing left for us here. Natalie, not anymore. Mayor Jackson can't protect us. The Minuteman can't protect us. Yeah, right. You can't see it right now. A face cam. I'm flexing. We can protect everything. We gotta fend for ourselves. It's time to go. Meet me by the warehouse north of town around sunset. I stashed some caps in the dumpster there. Got a boat down by the shore. We'll head up the coast, make for the old waterfront. With any luck, we can be in good neighbor before dawn. And that is all it wrote. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, um, mm -hmm. yeah. You, you, you guys were probably better off doing what you were doing. Uh, not, not what you ended up doing. Because what you ended up doing was stupid. And looks like you're all dead. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should have let the minute man protect you. Maybe you should have waited for Daddy Volks here to save you. Man, man, it's just uh, you, you missed out big time. That you did. Okay, so I think I've successfully looted the outside area. Looks like we get to go into the internal place and speak to the people. There seems to be a whole room. Savage. Uh, there seems to be a whole room of people over here. I got a diner. I got a big main garage. Let's go in diner. I'm kind of hungry. Hold on, I gotta turn the music off. Hey, check out the chassis on you. Whoa, your plates have got me cranked. The name's Zeke. Cranked. Plates. Power, armor. I like a cat who digs what I dig, and the Atom Cats dig power armor. Atom Cat? <laughs> like you haven't heard of us. <laughs> we are the Atom Cats, Cosworth, a gang of please. the most with it, way out cats in the Commonwealth. So what's your tale, Nightingale? You want a ticket to Fat City? Codsworth, what are you doing? Fat City? Fat City is a state of mind. Get with us? And you'll get with it. If you think you got the chops to be an Atom Cat, <laughs> you gotta be able to stretch your stuff. Check with my girl Rowdy. She'll have something for you to get your bread hooks on. Where is my camera looking? <laughs> Why is Codsworth putting his gun in that guy's head? His name is Blue Jay. Smoking suit you got there. Yeah, you can't have it. I wrote this one about this thing that happened to me the other day. I call it Hard Shell. I walk on the beach, doing my thing, staying cool. A thing breaks the surface of the dark water. A pair of claws under a dome of gnarly shell. I'm caught. Off guard. Beady little eyes look at me from deep within the shell. Beady little eyes, full of hunger, full of rage. I pull out my gun and shoot. But the bullets only bounce off that crusty shell. Those beady 
eyes narrow as the shell devil grows angrier and angrier. He comes at me faster than before. A bullet finds its way to a crack in the dome. The demon screeches in pain. Those beady eyes. I, too, am soft meat under a hard shell. Thank you. Well, that was awkward. <laughs> These poetry night tapes are just uh, something or another. Now, we are absolutely pack rats, Codsworth. At least we're not sticking our gigantic laser pew pews in people's faces like you were. All right. If you're gonna if you're gonna judge Codsworth, you gotta be judged yourself. It's like if you're gonna make fun of somebody, you gotta be able to make fun of yourself. Like I say, I'm an 800 pound so uh, 800 pound potato with sausage fingers. I mean, y y you gotta be able to, you gotta be able to laugh at yourself. Funny how I can't take that, but I can take everything else. Uh, sorry, dude. If it's not glued to the floor and I'm allowed to take it, I'm borrowing it. You wear your plays with style, Jack. Stop assuming my name. <laughs> Get out of here. Rowdy has like a thousand projects going on. Just gotta have something for you. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll find a job. Hey, lady. Roxy. Okay, so we have Rowdy and we have Roxy. Uh, I'm pressing E and she's not talking. Hey, are you stuck in animation? Or are you just not talking? Where's it at, kitty cat? Don't you call me a pussy! That's mean! Can you help me get the lay of the land of this place? Can I? I'll tell you what's what with the Atom Cats. Rowdy handles the power armor mods. She's also the coolest chick I know. Usually hangs out in the garage. Blue Jay does sales. Anything to buy or sell that isn't power armor, he's got it covered. Um, let's see. Duke and Johnny D keep their peepers open for bad news cats who want to mess with our digs. I'm almost done. Zeke's the boss. Started this whole outfit. And well, I just dare you to find a cat cooler than Zeke. And then there's me, the newest Adam cat, Roxy. Got it all memorized, Jack? Mm-mm. <laughs> That's a smoking suit you got there. You wear your plates with style, Jack. This place is a little bit awkward. <laughs> That's a smoking suit you got there. Hey. Think of buying from the cats as a donation towards a more cool commonwealth. What do you say? What's new around here, Jack? We've been thinking about getting out there and finding some new suits to play with. We should take a few from those nosebleeds in the Brotherhood of Steel, right? Yeah, I think the uh, I think it was Duke. I think that's the guy I saw forever ago. You guys probably don't want to fight the Brotherhood. They will probably blow you up. Let's see what you have. I I, I can't honestly recommend it. They don't they don't seem like the kind of guy to mess around. <laughs> you do have army fatigues, and you do have military fatigues, all of which are pretty cool. I like those. You got a lot of stim packs. You got a little bit of money to work with. I mean, I can give you the the, the scarbo that I picked up around your settlement. Like here, have the things. That I quite legitimately picked up around your your settlement. Now, heavy dog armor. I've given, do, uh, I've given dog meat dog armor before, but I don't know if I have heavy. I don't know if I even have a helmet. I'm gonna keep both of those on light dog armor. I don't. I don't think. I don't think dog dog meat has that. But anyway, yeah, you can continue to just take the garbage that I found around your place, and uh, we'll, we'll just uh, we'll, we'll move on from there. Thank you for the easy money, buddy, and have fun. Also, do you have anything else to say? There's like a thousand projects going on. Just gotta have some for you. Zeke. Rowdy has like a thousand nope. projects going he on. He just wants to talk about Rowdy. Well, oh, hey, unarmed bobblehead. Excellent. Permanently gain plus twenty-five percent critical damage with unarmed attack. When words fail, there's always fists. Fisticuffs. Hmm. Mortal Kombat theme. Mortal Kombat theme song is playing in my head. I'll take your nasty cigarettes and your ashtray, though I would never do that in real life, because both of those are gross. Because I do not like cigarettes. Nope. No, sir. Nope. Uh-uh. No way, no how. There's a rug over here. Why? What? Uh, what? I guess somebody sleep in here? Maybe it's like a spot for a cat? Like a pet? Souvenir plastic bowl. Mine now. Uh, it looks like now... I don't see Duke. Like... 
I haven't seen Duke. I'm pretty sure Duke's the guy that we met. What's your name? Johnny D. Excuse me. It takes a lot of work and grease to get your hair like this, Jack. You have no hair at all. Get back here. I'm not tired of Zeke winning everything all the time. No, not tired at all. You wear your plates with style, Jack. Hi. You gotta be with it to hang around. All right. Uh, where's Duke? I'm pretty sure Duke's the dude. Uh, there's the one guy at the entrance. That wasn't Duke, though. Do you have a name? Gate. No, that's just the gate. gate. Peepers. That makes sense. Apparently, I can hack it. I'm not, I'm not gonna hack their peepers. I don't think they like me hacking their peepers. That sounds weird. Uh, you're not Duke. I know you're not Duke. I've got this ID. Oh, you are Duke. I'm just stupid. So power armor with the Seems weird. Was it not Duke? I, I forget. Was it not Duke that I met? He didn't have his helmet back then when we met him. I don't know. I, I, okay, now we're just gonna talk to this I saw lady. you over there, Gavin with Zeke. What's the story? You have something for me to do? There's always something to soup up, strip down, and make shiny around here. Ooh. From the looks of it, I'd say Boss Man thinks you have a little Adam Cat in you. Wants old Rowdy to see if you have what it takes to shack up with us. What do you want me to do? Nothing I can't do myself. Got this clunker I want to see you spiff up. I've been putting off hauling myself over the ponds of Warwick for this, but now you get to do it. This here's something I've been fixing up. Part of the pump system at Warwick. Thing was clogged up like Zeke after one too many cans of cram. I want you to go to the pump shed there and install it. Warwick? Warwick's an old water plant turned farm just east of here. Bunch of squares who spent all day digging in the dirt. Oh, and uh, make sure to let June Warwick know when you're done. She's the bird in charge around there. The bird in charge. Repair the water pump at Warwick. Well, I did buy that thing from her. I have no idea if that has anything to do with anything, but I bought it. So she wants me to go east of here, which looks like that's a settlement. Maybe, like, like maybe one day it'll be a settlement that I can use. I have no idea. Guess we're heading over there. Probably would be a, a good idea to not go the way I'm going right now and uh, <laughs> go around, but I'm, I'm going to see if I can hoof it. Maybe I can jump island to island, but yeah, it'd be easier to swim. But I'm, I'm staying in my power armor for obvious reasons, because power armor is kind of important to my carry capacity. All right, well, what do we got over here? Yeah, it looks like I can just go from island to island pretty easily. Interesting, random, ominous, I don't know, like, ominous, just really heavy, bassy kind of sounds that are playing there. Anything out here? We did, remember, we did get that message in a bottle that said there's like some gigantic monster over here in the water. Uh, I'm actually kind of really hoping there's just like a gigantic monster trying to eat my face off. I look forward to it, because I want to kill it. I'm going to squish it. I'm going to squish it dead with my power armor. I'll, just, I'll come down from way up, way up high and be like, yeah, crunch. I see nasty blood bugs, but apparently I can see the frag mine before I can see the blood bug. You're only level 26. You're dead. You're dead. Okay, you're higher level. You, 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 you'll die shortly. Don't worry about it. They must have been a higher level for sure. Something's afoot. A game is afoot. What level am I? I didn't, I didn't see that. Level up. I'm 128. Man. That's a lot of levels. 128. Pog Champ Arena. Pog Champ Aruni. Hell yeah. Cap stash? I'll take some cap stash and I will absolutely take the aluminum. The aluminum is very important to my continued survival. There appears to be glowing fungus, or maybe that's a part of the glowing boat f bloat fly. I'm guessing it's a part of a glowing bloat fly that went underwater. Right there. Dude, he's, he's, he got numbed on. I'm yum 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 yum. I'm yum yum yum. I'm yum 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 yum. It's like a tauntaun. Just cut it open and hide in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, random feral ghoul. And look at the sneak attack. Apparently I what, shot through him? That was weird. Are you, are you crippled? Don't kill him, Codsworth! No, Codsworth. Up, head over there. I, I'm actually standing in the way so he doesn't hit me. So he doesn't hit him. I wanna go laugh at him. With my baseball bat. Yeah. <laughs> Codsworth over here tried to take all my fun. I think there's another ghoul nearby. There's something nearby. We were detected. It's not the frag mine, but what the hell? So something is something sees me. Anyway, is that the frag mine right there on the ground? There it is. That's the only frag mine that's on the ground. Up here, so according to Vats. 
Well, I will partake in that. Uh, what is up there? What is up here? Hello. There's a person. I mean, do I do I venture forth? I guess. There's a bunch of Mylarx out there. Hey guys. Can't see him here that yet. Can't see the Mylarx either. I want to see if like these guys are hostile or they're shooting. There, there's gunshots. I mean that creaky noise though. This does not sound structurally sound. Fusion core? Free fusion core? Wreck of the FMS Northern Star. Oh man, look at all these fusion core like generators. Like, imagine if there are actually fusion cores in them. I hear Mylarx scuttling. I don't know what he's speaking, but uh, he don't seem happy that I'm here. So he, he's definitely hostile. I'm really not gonna mess with this too much. I think this is for later. But I did hear Mylarx, and I gotta kill them. I'm pretty sure they were aggro to something else, because I heard the gunshots earlier. How many crits do I? Nah, we're good. Me and Mr. Mylark. I'll take that. Yeah, he, he's just... Rags. He's just shooting the Mylark. Alright, buddy. I'll just, uh... I'll skip a few steps, and I'll come up and say hi to you this way. Just give me a sec. I'm just waiting for my AP. Don't, don't worry about it. It's all, it's all gravy. No idea what that is. <laughs> Hello? Raider veteran. Well, it makes sense considering the boat. There must have been people coming from somewhere else got stranded. And they're just sort of chilling on their boat still. I don't know why they would stay on this boat. It looks pretty beat up and they need supplies, but they've made it their home. Uh, you're dead. Why you gotta be mean to shoot at me, dude? We could have been friends. We could have been best of friends. Don't you run at me like that. You take a seat. Is that one of those Deathclaw things? Deathclaw gauntlet. Oh, that guy's a ghoul. Are they all ghouls? I see two ghouls so far. I see a comic book. Tales of a Junk Town Jerky Vendor. Permanently gain better prices when buying from a vendor. I wish I had that two seconds ago when I got some stuff from that vendor. Nah, it's all good. Yeah, I don't need crits. Sorry, man. Sorry, Rags. Okay, Rags is dead. Rags was the unique one. Everybody here just appears to be a normal enemy. They're all ghouls, though, so far. But all normal enemies. Where did you go? Uh, ni nice, nice face. <laughs> I am carrying way too much game. I get it. Codsworth, remember, Codsworth is overweight because Codsworth has, uh... You see his hand? Dirt, derp, derp, derp. I don't know. It sounds Nordic. I don't know for sure. I don't speak it clearly. It sounds Nordic. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, you're you're you're, you're gone. <laughs> Contra, I really hope you can TP up here, buddy. Like really do. But look at my AP, by the way. Like, look how slow it's decreasing since I got that upgrade. Like, it's 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 a sizable. That's a sizable difference. It's half. So that just makes sense. Sizable difference. There's a random rifle that must have been from rags. Must have fallen off. Uh, hello. I, I really am not particularly full clearing this. I mean, I'm kind of more just here to get the. <laughs> There's a named dude, and he was shooting at me, so I figured, what the heck? This is this is a part of, I believe, the southern grid. This is like the next pass through. I'm Brahmin and the provisioner. I mean, I can't imagine this is good if they got this wreck thing here, and the Adam Cats need to get over here. Like, I, I can't imagine that they're exactly friendly one another. Okay, you died right here. Rags, what do you have? Rags, stop twitching. Rags has nothing unique. Sorry, Rags. Where's that radio? No. <laughs> no. Cryogenic, I think it was a cryogenic grenade. Is that what that said? I picked up too quick. Uh, ooh. That's very just kind of tucked away, you know? I mean, unless you're really... It's just, it's just so minute, so teeny. It's an agility bobblehead, which is nice. Yes. Agility permanently increased by one. Never be afraid to dodge the sensitive issues. Nah. Nah. I never dodge the sensitive issues. I jump right in. If you get triggered, you can't you can't handle a discussion. You would hate me. Like, if, if, if you want to be a snowflake and have your safe space, you would hate me. Nah, man. I'm all for discussion. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's talk. <laughs> Some people just prefer to hide away from reality. 
versus actually uh, partaking in it. And that Brahmin just disappeared and reappeared. That was pretty weird. But, guys, it is time to wrap the episode up here. Episode 673. Still have to read that terminal. I figured, why, why not? I guess I'll read that terminal while I'm here. But that is where we are going to go talk to, like, June or something? To go do the job, talk to June, tell her we're done. Hey, Codsworth, I'm actually really glad that you're here. Uh, I, I don't think you're going to be able to path find where I wanted you to. He just disappeared and or fell off the edge. Anyway, I really wouldn't mind Codsworth being here. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Wrap up here, guys. Episode 673. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you next time.